Now let's create the Lambda function. So click on create function. Then you're going to be giving three options. So let's select author from scratch because we're going to create it from scratch. And then for the function name, you can just choose any name you want. So I'm going to write deployment manager skill for the runtime, select Node.js 12.x. For the permissions, we're not going to be interacting with the AWS API. So if you expand this, you see that it's going to create a new role with basic Lambda permissions. And that's all we need for, for this function. Then leave advanced setting. Advanced settings is if you want to place your Lambda function in a VPC. In this case, I don't need to put in a VPC. So I'm just going to click on create function. The code that we see here is just an example code. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zip all of the files that I have, including the node modules. I'm going to zip it up and we're going to upload to this Lambda function. Back to the terminal. If I do a less, you're going to see all the files there. So now I can just zip it up. So zip R9. This is the name of the zip file. So code.zip It can be any name you want. Then the directory is the current one. So I'm just going to put dot. All right, so now we have the zip file and we can upload this to Lambda. What we need to do is to come to the actions button and then upload a zip file. Then click on upload. Then I can select my folder, code.zip, code .zip, open, and then save. And here you're gonna see a message saying that it's too large to enable inline code editing, which is completely fine. We're not gonna be editing our code here. And this is because node modules is a very heavy folder. But if we need to change something, we would go locally, we change locally, we zip it up, and we upload to Lambda again. Now there are two more things that we need to do before we start using our Alexa skill. The first one is we need to add a trigger. So here you click on add trigger. Then when you select a trigger, you select Alexa skills kit. Then for the skill ID, you need to get that from the Alexa developer console. So go back to the developer console and on the left hand side, you select endpoint. Then the, your skill ID is going to be right here. So you can just co copy that. Go back to the Lambda and paste, then make sure that it's enabled and then click on add. The second thing is to copy the Lambda ARN and configure the endpoint. You can find the Lambda ARN right here at the top on the right hand corner. So just click to, to copy then go back again to the Alexa developer console. And then here you're going to have default region, North America, Europe and India and Far East. So you can configure different, reg different regions but I'm just gonna go with one region only. So I'm just gonna configure the default region. So let me just delete this. And I can paste my, my Lambda Arn. Now let's save the endpoint. And if it says that it's saved successfully, that means your Alexa skill is able to trigger the Lambda function. Now that we have everything configured, we need to build the model. So go back to the invocation and then you can click on build the model. And here we're just going to take a little bit. So let's wait for that. So the quick build was successful. Now it's trained in the model and there it is. Now let's see how we can install this Alexa skill in my Alexa device. If you haven't got the Alexa app, search for Amazon Alexa, download the app. Then in my case, I'm just going to click on open. First thing you're going to have to do is to log in with your Amazon account. After you log in, this is what you're going to see. And if you want to download your or if you want to install your skill, you just scroll down and then you're going to see browse skills. So click on that. Then at the top, you're going to have three tabs, discover categories and your skills. And because this is a custom skill, then click on your skills. Then you just need to scroll to the right. And you're going to see one under development, which is the custom one that we've been developing. And right here, deployment manager, just click, on, just going to click on it. And then we need to enable so we can use it. So let me enable it. And that's it. So the skill is already installed in your Alexa device. Then what I'm going to do next is to grab my echo dot. And if you want to interact with your, your skill, just take a look at your invocation name. In my case, my invocation name for my skill is called deployment manager. So I would say this to Alexa, Alexa, open deployment manager. 
there was a problem with the requested skills response. Okay, so this response means that there is an issue with our Lambda function. So let's take this as an opportunity to take a look at what's going on. And you're also going to see how you can debug when uh, you've got this kind of errors. So back to our AWS console, you can click on monitoring. Then here on the right, you've got view logs in CloudWatch. So open that. In my case, I've been doing some testing. So that's why you're going to see more than one entry. If this is the first time that you're running, then there's probably going to be just a single entry. Let me click on the latest one, which is this. And the error happened a few times. So the latest error that I got was this. So let me expand so we can see what it is. And it says incompatible matcher type object. Anyway, I, I know what it is. So I just wanted to show you how these things can happen. If an error happens, what you need to do. Now let's go back to the code, fix, and then re-upload to Lambda. In the index.js, you're going to see a method called add request handler, which is uh, the, the method that we use to add all of the handlers. But the problem is that the, the name is actually incorrect. So it's not add request handler, it's add request handlers with S at the end. And that's why we're getting this, this error in, in Lambda. Now, all we got to do after fixing the error, we just need to zip it up again and upload to, to Lambda. And I actually did this on purpose, the, the wrong name, because I wanted to I wanted to generate this error so you see what kind of response Alex is gonna give you when there is an error with your function. And okay, now that is this part is fixed, let's zip it up and upload to Lambda again. All right, in my terminal, I'm just gonna run zip command again. Then let's go back to AWS. So to configuration and then actions, upload zip file, upload. I'm going to select code.zip. Let's save it. All right, let's try again. Alexa, open deployment manager. Welcome to deployment manager, the coolest deployer out there. And you'll see that if I go back to, to the code, let me bring the code again. If I go back to handlers.js, this is the launch request handler. And you see that Alexa said, welcome to deployment manager, the coolest deployer out there. So we're sure that the handle function from the launch request handler object was executed. Okay, I know that this skill is working, but we cannot deploy the website yet because we haven't got Jenkins configured. So next step is gonna be to configure Jenkins and then we're going to be able to do a little test.